Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Oh, ho. Small, where are you, Small? That's funny. He said he was going to tidy up the counter while I was out, but it still looks in a right old state. I wonder where he's got to. Hello, everyone. I'm here. Where? Here. Oh, there you are, little cook. Were you there all the time? I didn't see you. That's because I'm so small. No, that's because you were hiding. I wasn't hiding. I was sitting. But you couldn't see me because I'm so small. All right, all right, you were sitting. Why haven't you done the cleaning? Ben, I couldn't do the cleaning because you put that cloth all the way over there. And because I'm so small, I couldn't reach it. Well, well it's all right, little cook. We can do the cleaning up together. <laughs> sometimes, Ben, just sometimes, I wish I wasn't that small. Oh, dear. Ben, I wish I was your size, then I could see what the world looks like from up there. <laughs> but being your size small means you can do things that I can't do. Huh? Can I? Yeah. You know, like, uh, oh, whenever you lose something, you're really good at finding it because you can reach all those really hard-to-reach places. Hey, I suppose I can. <laughs> and you always win when we play hide-and-seek. I do, don't I? <laughs> and how would we ever find out about things if you couldn't whiz off on your magic spoonmobile and find out? Hey, I never thought about that before. You're right, Ben. Being small can be very useful. <laughs> oh, like now. Off you go, little cook. A customer awaits. I'm on my way. Woohoo! Woohoo! So who's in our cafe today, Small? Give us some clues. Well, it's a man wearing a bright red jacket. It's not Father Christmas, is it? <laughs> no, Ben. He's not Father Christmas. Here's another clue. He's wearing a top hat. Oh, I know. It's a magician. Magicians wear top hats so they can magic rabbits out of them. No, he's not a magician, Ben. He's wearing shiny black boots and you might find him in a big tent. <laughs> Aha! Is he something to do with the circus? Yes, Ben. It's Roberto, the circus ringmaster. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One summer's day, I went to the park and found a group of children gathered around a big notice. The notice said, We are sorry to announce that the circus will not be coming this year. The children all looked very sad. The summer won't be the same without the circus, they said, and I agreed. It's so exciting when the circus comes to town, and we all love watching the clowns and the jugglers, the acrobats and the trapeze artists. I walked on through the park and saw a man sitting on a park bench, looking very miserable. He told me that his name was Roberto, and he was the ringmaster from the circus. We've got a few problems, he said. The juggler has broken his arm. The acrobats have had an argument and won't work together anymore. The chief clown fell over his big feet and hurt his nose. And our top trapeze artist has suddenly got scared of being in high places. And he can't work either. So, no circus this summer, said Roberto sadly. And I've got nothing to do. I know, I said. Why don't you hold circus classes for all the children? 
Then you'll have something to do. Everyone was delighted with this idea. And all through the summer holidays, the children came to the park and Roberto taught them how to be circus performers. Then, at the end of the summer, the children invited everyone in the town to come to their open air circus. Way! There were clowns, a juggler, some acrobats, a stilt walker and a tightrope walker. The children were introduced by Roberto the Ringmaster. Looking very smart in his bright red jacket, his shiny black boots and his top hat. <laughs> the audience loved the show. The children and Roberto agreed it had been the best summer ever. Little come to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Oh, what a brilliant story, Small. Oh, I'd love to be in the circus. Way! So would I, Ben. Oh, I tell you, I'd like to be a juggler. Woohoo! <laughs> what would you be, Small? I'd be the world's tiniest tightrope walker. Walking slowly along the tightrope, way up in the sky, trying not to wobble. <laughs> and all the people would be looking up and watching me. Then I wouldn't feel that small. <laughs> anyway, no time for dreaming now, my little friend. Let's get cooking. You're right, Ben. What can we cook for Roberto? Let's have a think. Mm. Oh! <sighs> I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Hey, what about this? Circus ring omelette. And the pattern on the top looks just like the circus ring in my story. Oh, yes. Roberto will love this. You read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need potatoes. OK, over here. Potatoes. Got them small. Onion. In here as well. Onion. Got it. Cherry tomatoes. In the fridge. It's a good job I went shopping today. Cherry tomatoes. Yep. Eggs. Eggs in the fridge as well. Here we go. Got the eggs. Bread. In the cupboard. Here we go. Bread. Yep. Olive oil. Oh, there we go. Olive oil. And a courgette. 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 Oh, right. OK. There we go. Everything we need for the recipe, apart from a courgette. No courgette? Afraid not, little cook. And <laughs> we were doing so well. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll just whiz off and get a courgette. Good idea, little cook. And I'll get everything ready. See you later. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! <laughs> go, small, go, small, whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. This looks like the right place. Oh, hello, Mr Crow. This is an allotment. Dylan and his mum have grown lots of vegetables on their allotment and today they're going to pick some. First, they are going to pick some onions. Dylan's picking some too. Well done, Dylan. What will they pick next? Hmm, I wonder what this is. Oh, there's some small round vegetables in the soil. What are they? They're potatoes! And these are courgettes. A basket full of vegetables. Ooh, it's getting a bit windy. I'd better get back to the cafe.
I've cooked and drained the potatoes and cut them into little cubes. There we are. Everything ready for when Small gets back. Way! I'm back! Oh, what good timing! Did you get the cores yet? I certainly did, Ben. I went to an allotment. That's where people grow their own fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Whoa! Well done, Small. Right, we've got all the ingredients now. And we've got one hungry circus ringmaster waiting in our cafe. So... Let's get going! <laughs> We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook. Is small friends in our cafe we cook for them all when your tummy gets all rumbly you're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat have you cleaned the surfaces yes have you washed your hands yes all, all clean, clean and, and ready to, to cook, cook. Do you remember the ingredients to circus ring omelette? You do. There were potatoes. Two, cooked and cut into cubes. Onion. One, sliced. Cherry tomatoes. Three, cut in half. Eggs. Five. Bread. Two slices. Olive oil. Three tablespoons. And a courgette. One, which will cut into five slices. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now, the first thing I'm going to do is pour one tablespoon of the olive oil into a non-stick frying pan, like that, and start to heat it up. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hob job, and the hob is hot, hot, hot. What can I do, Ben? Could you cut five slices of the courgette for me, Small? Will do. Now, when the oil's hot, Ask your grown-up helper to pop in the potatoes and the onion. Give it a quick stir. And then on goes the lid. And then turn the heat down to its lowest setting. Now the mixture needs to cook for about 10 minutes. And you'll also need to give it a couple of stirs so that the mixture doesn't stick to the pan. The courgettes are ready, Ben. <laughs> this is quite a big job for a little cook. <laughs> well done, Small. What's the next job for me then, Ben? Oh, could you crack these eggs into your bowl and beat them up for me? And I'll go and check on the potato mixture. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Woohoo! The potato mixture's nearly ready, so there's just time for a quick juggle. Hey! Oh, if Small and I really practice our circus skills, we could do a show for our customers in the cafe, just like the children did in the story. Our very own circus in our very own cafe! This is another job that would be easier if I were bigger. Phew! This is hard work! <laughs> Thanks, Small. Now, could you make two slices of toast for me, please? Two slices coming up. <laughs> I've just poured the rest of the olive oil into the frying pan. This is going to help to cook the eggs. So next, ask your grown-up helper to pour in the beaten egg. Like that. And then we can start to decorate the omelette using the tomato and the courgette. And I'll put them on one at a time. Alternately, this is going to be the circus ring. And finally, one piece of tomato in the middle. Like that. And then, we just need to let the omelette cook until the egg has gone from runny to solid. Way! While I wait for the bread to toast, there's just enough time for a spot of tightrope walking. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> How am I doing? Just think, 
If Ben and I keep on practicing, we could become the world's only cooking circus performers. Woohoo! Now, ask your grown up helper to turn the omelette onto a plate like this, and then return it to the pan to cook on the other side for a couple of minutes. The toast's ready, Ben. Omelette's cooked too. That looks delicious. Oh, it does, doesn't it? So now we can cut the toast into triangles. Like this. Whoa. Whoa. And then arrange the triangles in the middle of the omelette into a star shape. Like this. That looks fantastic. Roberto will love it. Let's see, shall we? One circus ring omelette coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bob The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh yes! Ho oh, ho! And it looks like Roberto enjoyed his circus ring omelette. Look small, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My circus ring omelette was delicious! Woohoo! To say thank you, here are two tickets to see our circus. <gasps> Hooray! Hooray! Ho ho ho! <laughs> Small, I thought you might find these useful. From Roberto the Circus Ringmaster. Whoa! Here you go, Small. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Bucket stilts! <laughs> oh, Small! Now we really can pretend we're in the circus. You can be the stilt walker and I can be the juggler. And even better, whenever I want to be a bit bigger, I can be! Hey! Wow. I can see everything up here! Ho -ho. See you soon! See you soon! Ho -ho -ho. Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe! 